Hi. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hello, brother. Oh, I have a headband. <laughs> Hi, Cha. Hi. Hello, hello. How are you? I can hear you, baby. Hello? Mm, I can't hear you. No words, baby. You, can you hear me? But I cannot hear you. Fix your headset, baby. Uh -huh. Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. So how are you today? I'm fine. How's your day? What did you do today? Um, play games with my my uh, my uh, younger brother. Ah, oh, what games did you play? <laughs> Hello, brother. It's raining here. It's raining. Uh, so hard in here. How about there in Vietnam? Is is it raining there? Baby, I can hear you again. Change your headset, baby. It's cloudy. Ah, yes, that's one. I can hear you. It's cloudy here. It's raining hard. Okay, so. So let's start our lesson. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, mm. okay, hold on, hold on. I'll uh did you have your notebook with you? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So right now, since I asked you to have your notebook and book, uh, notebook and pen, because our lesson is something new. So welcome to Pantado again. Yes, my name is Teacher Leia. Nice to see you again, Chang. So our uh, hold on, I'll pray. Okay. So ready? Yes. Okay. Oh, what can you see in the picture? Writing ideas. Add details. So, what comes to your mind when you hear the word writing ideas, add details? Uh, I don't know. Mm, maybe we're going to add something if we see, a, a, for example, we see a ball pen or we, we, we say something to, the, to a pen and then we're going to add something about the pen, okay? So that's 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 the idea or the thing that comes to my mind. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, more on writing here, Chang. Okay, choosing a strong idea. Okay, so these are the things that we're going to do today. We're going to details, tell more about the topic, add details to tell more about the topic, add details to make your writing more interesting, and add details to make your writing more interesting, narrow topic or specific topic. Okay? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's discuss. Details tell more about the topic. So from the word itself, you're going to make you're you're going to detail the topic, right? Okay, let's go. Let's, I am writing it, okay? Read this thank you note, and then we're going to underline the details that tell about the topic. Then circle the four compound words in Carla's note. Okay, let's try it. Okay, can you read it? Yes. 
uh, read it aloud, uh, Trang. Dear Aunt Suzy, thank you for taking me per day shopping. I like my new brow raincoat. It married my brow boot. I can wear zip it up. The hood will keep me warm. The pasting is soft, furry inside. Thank you for making my birthday special. Special. May I, may I go shopping with you again next year? Love. Love. Okay. So, uh, before we before we underline the details, let's try to to say some of the words like, uh, say the word, taking me birthday shopping. Can you say it? Taking me birthday shopping. Taking me birthday shopping. Brown raincoat. Brown raincoat. Brown boots. Brown boots. Zipped up. Zipped up. Zipped up. Okay. Hood will keep me warm. Hood will keep me warm. Soft, furry inside. Soft, furry inside. Okay, now let's underline the details that tell about the topic. So let's analyze for first. What is the topic of the this letter? What is the topic all about? Uh, it's about uh, the birthday shopping. Yes, it's the birthday shopping. Okay, very good. So this is the main topic, the birthday shopping. Let's let's make a n square. Okay, so let's underline the details. So what can you say? What did the, the sender tell us about the, the birthday shopping? Uh, a new brand coat, new brow rain coat, and uh, a brow coat, a boot. Okay, so, so these are the, the, the details about the topic. So it means that she bought she bought she bought a a brown raincoat and brown boots. Ah uh, no, uh, it that it is it 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 does not say that it she 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 bought a brown boots. So uh I think it's all about the the description of the brown raincoat. Okay. Yeah. Now can you tell me what can you say about the the brown raincoat? Uh. Is the hood the hood there is a hood yeah keep it Zip warm up. yeah up. it is soft furry inside okay okay very good how about the four compound words what they, what can you tell me what are the co four compound words do you know the compound words no okay let's find out okay these are the comparative baby Later, we're going to uh, this one. Okay. Oh, okay. So the so so the topic is about um, birthday shopping. So the 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 details are new brown brown boots and inside furry inside and birthday special. Okay. Ah, no, no, it's so furry inside. The description of the raincoat, that's the compound words. How about the, uh, the four compound words are, can you tell me the four compound words? Per day, raincoat, inside, per day. Okay, so, uh, okay, now let's go on the next page. <laughs> Draw a picture of Carlos in his new raincoat. Okay, can you do it in, in five minutes? Can you do it in your notebook? I don't know. I don't understand label. Label. Uh, uh, label means you're going to put this one. The one that we, uh, we're going to put brown raincoat. You're going to label. For example, I'll do it, okay? I'll, I'll just, uh, because I don't know how to, dry, to draw. Okay, for example, uh, uh, Trang, you're going to write the person. Don't don't love my drawing, okay? For example, this is <laughs> the 
<laughs> and then you're going to label here down. You're going to put brown. This one. Brown raincoat. You're going to put brown raincoat. And then you're going to describe the brown raincoat. It has a hood. Hood? Hood. The raincoat has a hood. Soft. Furry. This one. You're going to put soft and furry. Okay? Okay. Draw first. Carlos. Ah, the sender is a boy. Can you draw Carlos with his with his raincoat? Okay. Mm. Raincoat. Show it to me, baby, and tell me if we're done. Oh. I draw really ugly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's okay as long as I understand it. Okay, Chan? Brow <laughs> Nice. Oh, you are very good in drawing, Chang. And oh. then label it below, below the boy. You can put brown raincoat. What do what what we need to do? You're going to label the to label the you're going to label this one. Look, I will try. You're going to put below the drawing. Uh, below your drawing, you can put brown raincoat. Like this one. And then with hood. And soft and furry. Okay, that one. Put it like that, okay? Yeah. And show it to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
brown, bitch, you brown, I don't. Oh, brown. I don't know how to draw, but I just draw this. Oh, dear, wow. Hmm. Nice. Okay. So that's how are we going to make details? Okay. okay. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to the page. Okay. So do you understand now? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Okay. So this is how. Okay. Yes. A student drawing. Look. Look. Can you read it? A student drawing. A student drawing that shows a boy in a brown raincoat and a boot. The coat had a zebra, hood, and furry lining. The bell may include details that are knee brown raincoat, brown boot, zebra, hood, soft, and furry inside colors. Okay. So we don't we don't make we don't put it in detail because we don't know how to write, right? Okay, so the second one is we're going to add details to tell more about the topic, okay? Okay, can you read it? A shoe is born. A shoe is born. I was born in a poor old shoemaker shop. He cut me out of his very last pea of leather. Then he placed me on his work bench. He went home late that night. Two tiny elves then into the shop. The elves worked and worked into sunrise. Then they ran off. The next morning, the shoemaker had a big surprise. I was a pair of beautiful red shoes. Ah, do you know that story? I like that story. Uh, the, the two elves made sh that shoes for the old shoemakers. For the old shoemaker. Okay, can you read, can you say it? Poor old shoemaker's shop. Poor old shoemaker shop. Leather, leather. Leather, leather. Workbench, workbench. Workbench, workbench. So, so Chang, when you hear the word leather, what is leather? Mm. The leather is in the wings of the bird and they take out to make a clothes, a, a clothes for our shoes, bags, clothes, because uh, our shoes are made up from leather. Okay. And then how about workbench? What can you say about workbench? Uh, I don't know. Workbench is a place where, where he can work when he can do his shoes. Working station, something like that. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, can you try to say two tiny elves? Two tiny elves. 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 Okay. Then they ran off. The next morning, the shoemaker had a big surprise. I, I was surprised. Okay. I was a pair of beautiful red shoes. Okay, can you tell me uh, what, uh, uh, who is the owner of the shoemaker shop? Who's what? Who is the owner? Owner. Who owns? I don't know this the, word. The one who's talking. The one who said this one. I was born. The one who said this. A shoe? Uh, the, the shoemaker. The shoemaker is the one who owns the shoemaker shop. Okay. So can you tell me what happened? Uh, what happened? Uh, what does the shoemaker see? Mm, he sees... A pair of beautiful red shoes. Ah, before that, he saw uh, two tiny elves, right? Two tiny elves. And then what is the elves doing? Uh, they dance into the shop. They work and work until sunrise. And then they run off. And then what is the two elves' surprise to the shoemaker? Uh... They make a pair of beautiful red shop. Yes, red shoes. Okay, very good. Uh, I know this story. 
Okay, I know this story. How about this one? Okay, list for details you read. Okay. Here are the four What are the four details? What do you think? Need for details, uh, poor old shoemaker. So the first one is. Huh? I was born in a foot. He cut out of his last very piece of leather. Then he placed workbench. He went home. They that thing that too. Mm. What do you think? A shoemaker shop. Uh, let's find out. Then next, what are the four four details? A uh, two tiny owl. Next, uh, a pair of beautiful red shoes. What else? And a big surprise. Let's find out if it is the one, okay? Oops. Okay, read this story, then list four details. So the four details are, ah, yes, very good. Okay. So the, the correct one is, the correct are the three. Can you can you uh, can you write it? Can you write it in your notebook? The four, uh, four details. We a uh, list of four details. List of four details. Yes. Okay. Finish. Okay. So remember that, okay? Yeah. Okay. Now let's go, let's go. I think you're going to go with me. Okay. So these are the four compound words. What do you mean by compound words? In not? In, yes, in not. Is there in not in the, in the sentence? Is the, there's no in not, right? Not. I think not. Okay, can you can you try to write the four compound words? Write okay. it. Hello, is that your? Okay, write the compound words, and then we're going to explain what is compound words later. Okay. okay. Daddy meet. <laughs> Finish. Okay. Four compound words. Compound words meaning two words. Look, shoe plus maker. Shoemaker. Two different words, but when you com combine them, it means another another meaning. Okay? Yeah. I don't know this E not. Do you know this one? No. <laughs> I don't know E not. What's that? Trunk. No, no. Okay. So that's the, this is how compound words are uh, are composed. Look, shoe plus maker, shoe maker, right? Work plus bench, work bench. Sun plus rice, sunrise. Okay? Yeah. Did you write it, baby? 
Yes? Okay. So that's, did you put compound words? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so number three, right now we're going to add details to make your writing more interesting. Okay? Re read it. My Racing T-shirt by Kyla. Kayla. My Racing T-shirt by Kyla. You know what I like to wear best? It's my white T-shirt. I got you last year at the race track. It had a picture of car number seven. The car is bright green. I hope to get a new T-shirt this year at the race. Okay, so can you tell me what is the story about? Uh, it's about a white a racing T-shirt. So can you tell me? Can you describe that the racing T-shirt? Yeah, the color I got it last year at the race shop. It had a picture of car number seven. The car is bright green. Okay. Okay. So let's try. What are the details of the story? What are the other details? Can you can you tell me? Uh, a white T-shirt. Yes. Next. Uh, a picture of uh, number seven. A uh, race track. Mm -hmm. uh, new or uh, bright green. Okay. New shirt. I think new shirt. Okay. That's also correct. Okay. Let's find out if it is correct. Wow, look. Same. Very good. Okay, can you copy it, baby? Yeah. The detail. Uh, you put it detail. Detail. Finish. Okay, good job. Wow, you're very good, Trang. You can identify the details of the story. Very good. Okay, let's go. Do you have any questions so far? No. Very easy, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, read Tina's paragraph. She needs to add more details. Oh, we're going to put details. Look at the picture and write three details she missed. Okay, can you read it again? My new t-shirt. My new t-shirt is my favorite thing to wear. I saw it at the store. My grandmother bought it for me. It is pretty. So, what are the things that Tina forgot? So, the name is? Tina. Okay, butterfly. Ah, she forgot to say, to describe the t-shirt. That's why the sentences of her paragraph is just three sentences or four sentences because she forgot or she forgets the other description of the t-shirt, right? Okay, can you make a sentence using name Tina to describe the t-shirt? Chang? Yeah. There is a big mm, word. Tina in the t-shirt. And then, very good. And then, there is a butterfly. It's flying near the flower. And then, there is a bow. There's a bow. Uh, a bow. And White flowers. Bow. And flowers on the shirt. Yeah. Okay, very good. That's... So Tina uh, Chang, that's how are we going to put additional details about the subject or about a, a certain picture? 
Okay? Wow. Do you have a question? Hmm? Okay. Oh, how about this one? Add details to make her writing more interesting. So the number three, we're go we added uh, details about the, the, the writing. This time, we're going to make details to make it more interesting. Okay? Okay, look at this one. Imagine your shoe could tell you about its life. Fill in the topic, write the detail for each question. The life of Molly's running shoe. So can you imagine a, a shoe? What does it look? Okay, you, you are going to make it this one. Put uh, the, the, the Molly's running shoe. What does it look like? Uh, it looks like uh, a big shoes. It looks like pretty. Ha, come again, Frank. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, it looks like it's big. Big. Hmm. It is big. The shoe is big. Is big. What else? Uh, it has. Uh, it has a big flower in the top of the shoe. Wow. Wow. I show. What is it show? <laughs> okay. And uh, it is a uh, pink, pink. Okay, now let's find out the other question. Ah, look. Okay, aside from the description that we put, we can also put uh, the, sh uh, the, sh the shoe runs, jumps, Plays basketball, okay. right? There's a there's a life of the shoe. What does it like? Hmm. Uh, is it pretty? It's pretty. Pretty. Okay. Pretty. Okay. Can you read it? Sunday outside playing soccer. Okay. So the shoe is playing soccer. <laughs> okay. Next, where the, does it go? Go everywhere. It goes everywhere. Okay. Outside, playground, bedroom, floor. Next, what doesn't it like? Uh, it can dance. It can dance. Uh, mm. It can dance. I don't think anything though. Ah, the shoe is getting wet and smelly on rainy days. <laughs> is, is your shoe smell smelling smelly when, when it it is wet? Me too. No. On all but the boys are, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is how are we going to make uh, uh, additional details about a certain topic, okay? Okay. So, oh, we're done. Okay. Oh, this is very easy. Okay. Can you? I will give you a picture. I will give you a picture. And then you're going to make details about the picture, okay? Okay. And you're going to write it in your writing book, notebook, and then show it to me, okay? Yeah. Oh, vegetable. Okay. So, apply all the four that we had today. Details, uh, more details, additional details to make it interesting. Okay, vegetables. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so okay, let's start the vegetable. Can you write that? And look at the vegetables. What are the vegetables in the picture? And then you're going to describe it. In the picture, there is a big uh, letter V V V. And there are many vegetables like tomato, onions, yeah, chilies. Yes. You're going to add details on the picture, okay? Yeah. Okay, write it, baby. Write all the. There's a ginger. Is this a ginger? Ginger, cauliflower, chilies, garlic, onion. Eggplant and tomatoes. So tell me, tell something about that, okay? The vegetables have grown from the okay from the sands. They need water to grow up. To grow up, okay. and they will become a flower, and they will oh. become yeah. Fruit uh, and vegetables. Um, now it's not become flower. It will grow up, grow up every day, every month, and then they will become a good vegetable for us to eat. Oh, how about the uh, the additional information about the vegetables? Uh, the additional details to make it more interesting. Oh, vegetables are very healthy. You can say that. Uh, vegetables are very healthy. It's good for you if you eat every day. In in the meal, you need to have two, uh, one, two, three, uh, one, two, two, uh, uh, plates of vegetables. Okay. Or, uh, eating vegetables make your body strong and healthy. It makes you. Uh, it makes you feel uh, uh, warm and uh, comfortable. You feel you are you will not get sick if you eat vegetables, right? Yeah. Okay. That's that's the additional to make it more interesting. How about uh, add details to make more uh, to make to uh, add details to tell more about the topic. So how about the the description of the uh, the vegetables? What are the vegetables that you can see in the picture? Mm, vegetables are many: chilies, onions, uh, tomatoes, garbage. And how about the uh, the the size, the color? Vegetables. How about the color? Uh, there are many colors. Green, purple, black, uh, uh, red, green. There are many colors in the vegetables. Yes, very good. Yeah, okay. So that, that's how are we going to make it more meaningful about the topic, okay? And how about Okay, uh, how are you going to make details about the topic? Uh, what is the color of the eggplant? It is round and purple. So that's, that's how you're going to make it to detail the, the vegetable. And then the cauliflower, it, the tomatoes are red. Yeah. Right? The ginger is brown. The chilies are red. Ginger. Yeah. Ginger. 
onion, onion, superb is a purple. Um, garlic, this, the other one is garlic. Garlic, garlic, a purple too. Tomatoes are red. Okay. Oh. So, Ginger. so the main, the main, uh, the main concern in this is you, you know how to make it on details, okay? Yes, very good. Okay. So do you have any questions? What are the words that you don't understand? Do you no. have any? This is very easy, but then when you when you discuss it one by one, it's hard, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, next week, am I correct, Atran? Next week our our schedule is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. I can hear the, the your brother. What I what I am saying is on on next week, starting next week, our schedule will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. Am I correct? Because that is the one that they are telling me. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yeah. Right, Chang? Yes. Okay. So I will email you if there's a if there's a changes, right? Okay. So what what are you going to do after the class? Uh, I don't know. Watching TV. Yeah. No. Help my mom. Who? Help my mom to making uh, dinner. To make dinner. Okay. You're going to help mom to make dinner. And what will be your dinner for tonight? Uh, I don't know. I think is I will have pork. Um, yeah, a soup, soup. Mm. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what my mom will make. Is your mom good cook? Yeah, she's very good. The food is very yummy. Wow, wow, that's very good to hear. And that, that does your mom cook vegetables? Yes, she has many of vegetable in the fridge. So she will make a lot of vegetables for us today. Oh, that's great to hear because vegetables are very healthy. What flavor of uh, what vegetables do you like? Uh, cabbage. Cabbage and then. Uh, and tomatoes. Tomatoes. The salad. Do you like salad? No, I never have eat salad. Oh, that's very delicious. In Vietnam, don't have more the food like salad. It's just in uh, other country. We don't usually eat salad. You don't you? <laughs> Me, I like salad. My favorite is salad. Any kind of salad will do. Mm. Okay. So so um so Chang, let's try to see each other again on Monday. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, nice to hear. And if you have any questions, if you have anything to say, you can email me, okay? Okay. See you again, baby, on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Is that your dad? Bye, daddy. Bye, daddy. <laughs> bye, daddy. And good evening, daddy. <laughs> bye, Chan. See you again. And bye to, bye to your brother, okay? Okay. Bye-bye.